On Medium Wave and FM Stereo, this is National Radio 1. Well, hello there. This is TV on the radio, Thomas Vance, the music vendor. Welcome to the Friday Rock Show. At about 11.30 tonight, my guest on this here party is the man who headlines tomorrow's Monster of Rock Festival at Castle Donington. He is that lovable, legendary rock singer, Ozzy Osbourne. Now, before Ozzy, we've got lots of good thud and thump for you via Angel Witch, Carnivore, Elixir, and Death Dealer. If you've got the ears, I got the noise. Hello, I am the BBC. Today we're talking to a man who saluted one of America's national monuments in his own watery way. The man who has scythed his way across continents, wreaking havoc and leaving his fans open-mouthed in awe and also rather deaf. Mr. Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, Mr. Osbourne, why do they call you the Monster of Rock? Because I eat bats heads. Ah, I see. That's extremely interesting. Now, how terribly novel that seems to me. Is that something that is part of a rock singer's diet? Uh, what else do you actually eat? I eat microphones, cars, people's buildings. In fact, I'm going to eat the BBC starting with Television Centre. <laughs> Oh, my God. There he goes. Straight down his throat. The whole of television news, the whole of the newsroom, including Sue Lawley's legs. Good heavens, Mr. Osborne is chewing top of the pops. Now he's cramming the late, late breakfast show into his mouth. Amazing. Noel's hair doesn't even move. Ozzy Osborne is now striding across London. He's tearing a broadcasting house. It's in his hand. He plucks out Mike Smith, Mike Reed, Janice Long, Steve Wright, and now he eats. show. Mr. Ozzy Osbourne, following his light supper, will be a guest on the Friday Rock Show at 10 p.m. Uh. Play the rock roll! 13 and a half minutes past 11, approximately 11.30 tonight. We'll have in the studio here at the lovable BBC, Ozzy Osbourne, that charming gentleman. Who tomorrow night, along with Jake E. Lee and the rest of his band, is going to rip the stage part at Darlington. Should be good. I hope he doesn't rip the studio part. Because I've got to sit here for another 45 minutes. And the BBC would probably bill me, and I'd have to pay for it, wouldn't I? Thud! The track was called Feel the Knife. We are waiting at 21 minutes, exactly past 11 in the studio, the appearance of Mr. Ozzy Osbourne, who's going to be our guest tonight. Prior to his appearing tomorrow at Darlington. I've got the red carpet out, and uh, a bottle of lemonade. Radio and now the Friday Rock Show in this pre-Donnington situation has in the studio the man who's going to be right there at the top of the bill tomorrow. Tomorrow night he'll be storming, storming Donnington. His name is Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzy, welcome to our studios. Good to be here. How are you? Fantastic. What happened in America? Was it a good tour? Because haven't you been doing gigs in the States? Oh, it's been a very hard tour. It's been a ridiculous tour. You know, we just, you know, touring, you know, touring, in, 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 as you know, is like hectic anyway. And, oh kinds of pace it's told me these days. But hey, it was a good tour. It was a good time. Okay. I'm and looking forward to Donington, though. That's, I think tomorrow is going to be one of the best ever. I hope so. Keep your fingers crossed for the weather, folks. That's the one. That's the one. Any scandal in the States, though? Did anything happen? No, I've been, in actual fact, the case was dropped from the kid who committed suicide. The judge threw it out of court, which I'm very uh, happy to say. Apart from that, I've been keep, keeping myself kind of semi-normal. <laughs> you haven't been uh, urinating up anybody's leg or biting the feet of presidents or no, 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 no. nothing like that at all. It's been kind of a boring tour, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so you haven't been up to any mischief at all? Well, I have, but I can't really speak. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to tell anybody on the radio. Listen, though, I must say this. I did have a letter from a fellow last week who saw you on tour in the States, said it was good, but he did feel that you were only on, on the stage, I think, for about an hour. No, hour and a half, every night. Right. It goes, it's so good and it's so, it looks, it seems like it's going so fast. It's, it, maybe one of, one of, wait, do you know what show he was referring to? Having the faintest I've, I've idea. Been, I've been kind of, I've had a lot of sinus problem on the road, you know, so I've yeah. been doing, and now and again I've been cutting a show, a show or two short, but I, 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 I have, most of the times I've been doing that over an hour and a half. Not likely to happen tomorrow? Not in a chance. Definite hour and a half? Definite good hour and a half. Blow up at the end? Blow up at the end. Certainly. Right. What about the rock scene in the States? It's very weird, actually. It's like there's a band happening in America now called Cinderella, which is like um, be between uh, it's like a, a pop rock band, which uh -huh. is, seems to be really happening big, it's like a, like a like a, a um, Def Leppard kind of a thing. Right. That's the kind of thing that's happening. But I still have, I still have uh, a following up there, which, as you know, it's like it's like a cult following. You know, a lot of people keep thinking, it's asking me whether Sabbath's going to get back together and again over there. Uh -huh. But it'll never happen. Okay. Cinderella come from Philadelphia, I think. Yes. We've been playing a couple of tracks from their album, which is... It's, it's really going yeah. well. Good album, actually. Well, good I, album. To be honest with you, I haven't really heard the album, but... 
Turning from music from the States, can I play you something now? I just thought I might like to, you know, play a bit here and get your sort of opinion. Okay. This, this is a band, they come, I think, from Germany. They're called Vectum, and the trap, or rather the track, or the trap in the track, is Satan's Colours. Okay. The Friday Rock Show from BBC Radio 1. And that was Vectum, and a track which is called Satan's Colours. I think it's a really good track, and I played it because I wanted to get the opinion of my guest here tonight on the Rock Show, who is Ozzy Osbourne. Right, Ozzy, you heard that. You, I know you haven't heard the track before. What do you think of that style of music? I think it sounds like um, what we used to do, but more intense, you know. It's, it's very intense music. I quite like it, actually, when first hearing. It's like, it's like a cross between punk and metal. Mm. So they call it thrash metal, which... I suppose, we, I suppose it's a, a good brand. To put it. Yeah, I quite like it, yeah. But the one thing that I notice about thrash and, and death metal and all the other names that they apply to it, it's all essentially the same, it's just really fast, dynamic yeah, music, yeah. is that they're all very young bands. I don't know, I think, you know, it's like... I, you know, when I listen to us, I, I stop and think what I was doing when we started with Sabbath, you know, mm. and it's like... It, it, nothing changes. I mean, we just did a tour with Metallica in America, and they were great guys to work with. They're a great band. They really are good guys. And, and, and it's like, these guys, at least they're thinking about something. It's, they're not just making a noise. Mm. They're thinking, I mean, a lot of people out there think, what is he talking about? It's just a, a row to me. But there is some format. There is some structure to the songs. Yeah. Although it's fast, slow, whatever, you know, it's just, there is a lot of structure there. But obviously you're a man that's written countless songs, sung countless songs countless times. Now those guys, the way that they sing in that band Vectum, you can hardly understand a word of what they're saying. I think, and I'm not a singer, I think that that's a very hard way to sing. Well, it's, 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 not, it's not the fact that it's a hard way to sing. The first are Germans. Yeah. And, and like, uh, you, you tr try and understand a German speaking English without singing, like mine singing, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's just, it's, it's, I don't know, I mean, I, I, you know, good luck to him, you know, that's mm. all I say. Really. But you like thrash. I mean, you're, you're into... I, I like it and I don't, because I think there's, there's uh, what, I, what I've always believed in is there's a time for mood, cha mood changes. Mm. In the respect that, like, if you listen to a, any of the early Sabbath stuff, we always tried to have a mood through the album, mm -hmm. whether it would be a slow song building up to a slow bit, to a fast bit, to a m m mediocre bit. It's just, when you hear a record for, for, for 40 minutes and it's just one continuous battering, right. you lose interest in it. I do, anyway, you know. Yeah. And I, always, I always try and put, with my records and, and the other records I used to do with Sabbath, we always try and put a bit of a mood there, you know. Bit of, uh, light and shade. Yeah, right. light and shade. Bit yeah. light and shade. Let's turn to some cards. I've got a card that comes from Chris, who's in Bangor in Northern Ireland, says, Dear Tom and Ozzy, please give a mention to Janet and Trevor from Brother Chris. We'll all be at Donington tomorrow, flying straight back for Monday the 18th for Jan and Trev's wedding. We'll be listening sober, it says here on the card, though I don't believe it, to the radio on the Belfast Liverpool Ferry Friday night. So there you go. Got all some right, I've got a letter here from Debbie. I can't re pr really pronounce it. I think it's... Hit Tiggin, Tigginson, from County Armagh, Northern Ireland. She's bro she's injured herself on a motorcycle. And I think it's silly that you should buy motorcycles, but I don't know. You know but I'm, I'm sorry to hear you're sick. I hope you get well soon. I'm sorry you can't make the gig. Okay. Well, for that lady, who's in hospital over there in Northern Ireland, here's Shot in the Dark. <laughs> That's a classic, but you knew that anyway. Shot in the Dark by Ozzy Osbourne. The Friday rock show from BBC Radio 1. A pre-Donnington special with Ozzy Osbourne, who's our guest in the studios. Oz, tomorrow night when you hit the stage, what are we going to see as a staging? Doing anything special? Oh, it's phenomenal. But the whole of the American states over and more. We've got, like, um, television screens so the people at the back of the in the area we'll be able to see it's got this diamond vision thing mm -hmm. which is good it's phenomenal yeah. and we got uh, also got a magnificent firework display we've got um, uh, we got this thing which we call ernie which is an effigy of me which i appear on from time to time yeah and um, we got incredible pyro it's going to be an amazing show and i mean it's, it's just one of those you know ozzy you know. <laughs> never lets you down never lets you down which is true i mean you're a real performer and a showman First and foremost. <laughs> that's what it's, that's what it's, you know, I see these shows and I think, well, at least put some effort into it, guys. You know, people have tracked their ways down the motorways and on planes and on ferries to come and see the show. And they go up there and they, they, they go like, well, oh, I'm rocking around. And like, that's it, go home, you know. Yeah. At least I try and, I do try, not always come up, but nine times out of ten it does. And I, I can guarantee on Saturday night it's going to be a phenomenal night for me. I'm, I'm, I'm so hyped up for it. So I can't sleep at night. Donnington! You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gonna get there and kill him, as they say. Yeah, yeah. Got a card? Got a I've letter? Got a card here, yeah. A letter. It's from, num it's from number 27, Colton Croft, 
Streetly Sutton Coalfield. It says, Dear Thomas, will you please say hello to everyone camping at Donington this year, especially to Matthew, Stephen, Woody, Lockeran, Nigel, Dominic, Wendy, Ricky, Bobby, and, uh, and a countless amount of others. Have a great time, guys. You got it. And I got one here that says to Thomas, do us a favour, Willie. It's my 16th birthday this Friday, tonight, and I'd be dead chuffed if you would give me a mention on Europe's loudest radio show, as well as saying, hello, darling, to Jocelyn, the drunken romantic Hooper, whom I love very much. What Can does, you... What does Hooper mean? <laughs> I don't know. What does drunken mean? <laughs> don't know either. <laughs> Can you also ask Ozzy Osbourne to say happy birthday to me? Happy birthday to me. He did it, and he did it well. This is a band out of San Francisco. Have a listen to this, Oz. I've only heard this track once. They're a band out of San Francisco. They're called, believe it or not, Agnostic Front. I like it, I like it. The track's The Eliminator. They are, <laughs> and I must say the end of it caught me out as well, Agnostic Front. I think it's great. So do I. I really do, and I've only heard it once. I think it's great. The Eliminator, the track, was nice and lively, and that was the voice of Ozzy Osbourne. And we were wishing happy birthday to Gary, Gareth Mitchell, rather. Gareth Mitchell. Also, i got a, a little thing here. Maybe you can help on this one. Dun Gannon, again in Northern Ireland. You just, you've just done a gig, or recently done a gig in Belfast. The first time I ever played in Bel Belfast, or, or anywhere in Ireland, was this year. And it was, you know, I was scared of going about the bums. That's all a lot of tripe. You know, a sort of bum. The only bum we saw was Ian Paisley Pickett in the gig in Belfast. And that was the only thing we ever saw about out there. Yeah. And it's just, the, the kids that are so deprived. If anybody in a band wants a good gig and wants to get out to see some good people who like good rock, Go to Ireland, man. It's great. Yeah. Beer's good. People are great. You know, it's just fantastic. It we is. A, we had a real good time there. I'm glad to hear that. People also and appreciate going you back. going. We're going back. We're definitely going back. I want to do a, a, a lot more work there. It's great. I yeah. never saw any trouble there. Right. Let's have a, a little read of this. It's from Keith Wright. Uh, you can help, in fact. Keith says, I'm a Twisted Sister fan. I think they're excellent. There's only one thing I like more than them, and that is Ozzy, because the man's a genius. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, come on, you're not telling me you lost for words. No, I, I get kind of embarrassed when people say things like that. It's kind of like, you know, I say, oh, I'm a genius, you know, it's like a, I feel like a bit of a jerk. I just, I just have fun and write music, you know. Well, that, that, right, exactly. Well, he thinks you are anyway. I think Good for him. Anyway, goes on Keith, I was wondering, would he please send me two signed photographs of himself, one for me and one for my cousin Esther? Definitely will. Possible? Definitely. That's a guarantee. I have one here from Kim. From 110 Ashland Road West, Sutton in Ashfield, not sit, night, what, night, or I got in, wherever. Wherever. Ozzy, wish me a happy birthday. Happy birthday, darling. God bless you, Kim. That's to Kim. The band. Now you move so quickly sometimes, we don't know who's in your band. Who's in your band now? Phil Susan, ex wildlife. Yeah. And he used to play Robin George as well, I believe. Whoever he is, I don't know. Fella from Stoke on Trent around that yeah. area. Um, I've got Randy Casillo, who used to play Lita Ford on drums. Jake E. Lee on, on guitar. Mm -hmm. John Sinclair on keyboards, who used to play with Uriah Heep. Yeah, and you up the front. And me quirking up the front there. What do you think of the bill? I'm sure you're not going to be critical of it, but some people I are being... Let's put this to you. Some people are being critical about the, in, the involvement of bad news. No, I, I, I think to have, have a little bit of humour doesn't hurt anyone. I mean, I've been to rock festival and it's just been slam bam, thank you, ma'am, you know. Mm. And a little bit of just, you know, I, I like them, you know, it's a bit of entertainment, it's, it, they're, they're good fun, you know. It's, you know. I think you're right, I think it's it, it, a little lightener, as they say. It's, it's a little bit, I mean, everybody can see the motorheads, the Aussies, the Sabbaths, the purple, it's like too serious. Yeah. And, you know, one thing that's kept me going over the years is having a great sense of humour. Yeah. And I love a good sense of humour. Okay. Well, they're going on second. Warlock are actually opening the bill tomorrow. Yeah, I think I, a I, lot I, of people think bad news are. They're not. So get there for one o'clock, because Warlock are on at one o'clock yeah. tomorrow. And you'll be on, what, I suppose, about eight o'clock? I suppose so. And uh, you'll blow, the whole thing will blow up round about ten o'clock, I suppose. <laughs> and you'll just <laughs> ascend into the heavens. Um, there's no going to be no tricks of helicopters and all that fairy stuff. We're just going to play good rock and roll and drive it home. Nice one. I really am looking forward to playing. I'm really looking forward to seeing the kids. And I want them to come and go crazy. Just go nuts for the day, you know. Okay. The Monsters of Rock Festival, tomorrow at Castle Donington. Oz has been our guest. He headlines tomorrow. Thanks, Oz. Okay, God bless you. 
Ozzy, the Scorpions, Def Leppard, Motorhead, Bad News and Warlock. Junctions 25, 26, around about the old M1. Starts 1 o'clock tomorrow. The Monsters of Rock Festival at Castle Donington. You can get there, be there. Thanks to Ozzy for being our guest tonight on the program. The Friday Rock Show is a Tony Wilson production. And we're recording everybody but Def Leppard tomorrow for the Rock Show. We're not recording Def Leppard because they won't let us. They wouldn't say yes, so it's not our fault. Have a good evening. See you tomorrow. God bless. Good night.